St. Patrick's Day weekend is much like any holiday weekend. People tend to travel more and the Twiggs County Sheriff's Office is on high alert on a stretch of I-16 preparing for increased traffic with a roadblock to check up on drivers. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin stopped by today and saw exactly how the roadblock is keeping the public safe. There were at least 50 or 60 officers out there today. I was on the side of exit 27 on I-16 where officers told me they expect increased traffic for the holiday weekend and they expect it every year. When you think of traditions, we've been doing this for 15 years, the sheriff's office has. You don't tend to think of roadblocks. Making the road safe for people on a very busy holiday weekend like St. Patrick's Day, which is what this is. But exit 27 heading eastbound on I-16 this afternoon was filled with police officers stopping cars. And in just two hours out here on the side of the road, the Twiggs County Sheriff's Office and multiple other law enforcement agencies have found more than a half pound of marijuana and arrested more than seven people. And no wonder, these guys are pros. And what we're doing is we're looking for people that's under the influence or in possession of drugs or having some kind of violation like suspended licenses. Twiggs County Sheriff Chief Deputy Billy Boney says they have a little help from their drug detecting pets. Uh, if they give us enough reasonable suspicion to think that something may have gone on in the car, we just detect the smell of marijuana or something like that. Then we're going to walk the dog around the car and see if the dog gives us a positive alert. If he does. Boney says the increased enforcement on this stretch of I-16 has improved public safety dramatically. We had numerous fatality accidents on this interstate, I-16, uh, and due to that, we started enforcing some traffic laws on 16, and our fatality rate has decreased tremendously. And you can partially attribute success like that to a well-practiced tradition. Boney told me if you had legitimate business on exit 27 and were not breaking any laws, you were allowed to pass. However, he said 27 is a dead exit, which means it has no gas stations or restaurants. So if you couldn't explain why you were getting off, it makes you look pretty suspicious.